This is Veterans Day, and I'm TJ Jaglinski. And I'm Tiffany Stewart-Stanley. I guess we should define what a veteran is. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> and I should probably just read it. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> a veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserve, is someone who at one point in his or her life wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount and up to including his or her life. Making sure that these veterans are honored, recognized, and saluted is why Douglas County organizes the annual Veterans Day Parade. The parade has no corporate sponsor. Rather, the parade is the gift of the citizens of Douglas County to the brave men and women who have donned the uniform of the armed services. Exactly. Veterans Day Lighted Parade is the parade with a purpose. The purpose is to salute America. Every parade entry is required to salute the U.S. flag, active military, reserves, and or veterans. No self-promotion is allowed in this parade. And the Douglas County Veterans Day Lighted Parade is the only known nighttime Lighted Veterans Day Parade in the nation. And hundreds of Douglas County citizens line the streets to salute our veterans and our nation. We light up the night to show our pride. And as you can see, Douglas County has provided small handheld flags to citizens lining the streets so that the military and veterans in the parade will see Old Glory being proudly waved to them as they go by. Our friends at Jones Wind Funeral Home is once again distributing the flags as their salute to the veterans. So we're about to get this thing started. It sounds like the uh, motorcycles are making their way up the I street. I hear them. I hear them. And it's a beautiful night in downtown it Douglasville. Is. The weather's great. There are a lot of people out here lining the streets. So I can't wait for this thing to get started. Yeah. Last year was a little bit cold. This oh. year is just about perfect. <laughs> yeah. It is just right. So this is a great event and great night for Douglas County. Yeah. One of the churches across the street is giving away free hot chocolate. Ooh. So we're going to have to hit that up. I have to make my way over there. Yes. Do you think we can do it now? No, I we think, wait. We yeah, we wait. might have we time. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I'll cover it while you go get okay, a hot chocolate. I'll bring and we'll us swap. both back marshmallows. Yes, okay, absolutely. I'll bring that back. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. The 16th annual Veterans Day Lighted Parade starts off with the Douglasville Police Department. While this parade is put on by the Douglas County Communications Department, we appreciate the cooperation of City Police Chief Gary Sparks and his officers. Next are the Patriot Guard and the American Legion Riders, along with AMVETS Riders. These cyclists escort fallen soldiers as an honor guard and serve to assist the families of fallen soldiers with whatever they need. This is one of the crowd favorites right here. Yes, it is. I mean, to see everyone on their motorcycles, it is really great to see them coming through. Yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, that was always my favorite part of parades, the motorcycles. Yes, yes. Looks like they're having fun. Looking good. So now we've got the parade banner, and the opening banner presents the theme of parade with a purpose. Yes presentation of our nation's colors always leads the parade and is presented by the U.S. Navy Sea Cadets Warrior Division under the command of Tony and Michelle Castile. The unit is comprised of cadets from ages 10 to 17 years of age. The group learns skills of leadership, responsibility, teamwork, and a sense of community. You can learn more about them at warriordivision.com. I also see William Golden in there. He uh, he and I went to high school together. Oh, wow. It's got to be great to be able to see so many of your friends and yeah. family in a wonderful parade. We still have that down-home community That's feel. right. And I think that's one of the things we all love about Douglas County. Absolutely. Exactly. And listen to that great music. Yeah. So looks like we've got the Chapel Hill Marching Panther Band. They sound great. Can't have a parade without a band. Nope. I think it's pretty much impossible. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Performance?
right here at the performance area has its perks. It does. You get to hear all of the great performances to get a front row seat. And following them is Chapel Hill High School Navy Junior ROTC, the Reserve Officer Training Corps. The Chapel Hill High School Navy Junior ROTC cadets proudly honor those who have served this great nation. The 150 cadets of Chapel Hill wear their uniforms and proudly march in honor of our many veterans. Mm. They've got their own trailer. Yes, I mean, that's really great. They're legit. Yes, I know. I was in the Air Force year, ROTC. We didn't, really? We didn't have a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the ROTCs have really gotten big in Douglas County. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, that was our first one we ever had in my first year. So, uh-huh. So, yep. All right. Looking good. And next, we have our elected officials, and we have our chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. And she also has the mayor, uh, Mayor Rochelle Robinson, is with her as well. So two of our great leaders here in the county. All right, and then they are followed by District 4 County Commissioner Ann jones Goddard, And she's waving enthusiastically to the crowd. She is always in this parade, yes. every year. She's a great supporter of our veterans. So, TJ, looks like we've got another great Douglas County High School band. Um, we have the Alexander High School Cougar Marching Band. My alma mater, yes. Oh, that's yours. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're proud. They're doing a great job. Great performance. That sounds so good. They do, really great. as they go by. Yes. You should be very proud. <laughs> Great job, Alexander. Great job. We talked about how popular the ROTCs are getting yes. in, in Douglas County. Here's Alexander's junior ROTC. Yeah, and they look great. So, 
Do I do this after? You said after TJ? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to get a performance by the JROTC. Mm -hmm. I know. That is impressive. That is a very skillful performance. That was great. I think they practiced that a little yes, bit. Yes, I, I would not be able to do that. It's a little chilly out here, so I guarantee they've got cold hands. Yes, so it that, took a lot of skill to man. do that. That was good. We've got the Roses banner coming up. Douglas County honors and remembers the 49 citizens who have been killed in action since the county's founding in 1870. This covers World Wars I and II, mm -hmm. Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and co conflicts in between. Mm -hmm. 49 long-stemmed red roses are being carried in their memory by members of the Town and Country Garden Club of Douglas County. After the parade, the roses will be delivered to the American Legion Post. The Town and Country Garden Club celebrates over 60 years of service to the Douglasville area. Looks like we've got another great group of um, ROTC students, the Douglas County Junior ROTC, the Douglas County High School. I think I could hear them back there chanting earlier. Yes, they were waiting their turn. Yes, <laughs> raring to go. Yes. Right. 
Looks like we're in for another great performance. Yes. Yeah. That was great. Their RTC is so big, they've got two I groups know. doing performances. got the historic Marietta Trolley coming through. The historic Marietta Trolley joins us Veterans Day Parade to carry any military veteran who cannot walk, cannot walk the entire route of the parade. Mm. And then right behind them, we've got Paul Bunch, who's driving his beautiful truck in honor of all veterans. Oh, yeah, it is beautiful. And look, we have Mr. Kenneth Gillespie playing his bagpipes. Now, Kenneth normally practices his bagpipes at the Woody Fight Senior Center. After being pushed out of his former practice space at home by his lovely and frustrated <laughs> wife. And he's in the back of the, uh, the Vietnam Veterans of America. Yes. Their trailer. And he's doing a great job. I'm sure his wife is the, 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 the practicing <laughs> yes. is paying off. <laughs> The Family Secret Journal presents their World War I Centennial Float, When Honor is Due, honoring Private Will Sparks and the Douglas County Nine, the nine unsung African-American Army Infantry soldiers of the 372nd Army Infantry Regiment. They fought under French command in the 157th Red Hand Division and in the Battle of the Meuse Argonne Offensive in 1918, on the float is Army veteran Ephraim Sparks, a descendant of Private Will Sparks. Private Sparks was the only African-American soldier from Douglas County, Georgia, to be killed in action in the Great War. We salute those who return. Privates Claude Inslee, Glenn Favors, Leonard Hawkins, Bill Holloman, Edward Johnson, Leonard Jones, James Lawrence, and Otis McCauley. Wow, that's some great Douglas County history. Yeah. All right, and now we've got Ranger Service Dog Training. Um, which is a nonprofit that trains shelter dogs to become service dogs. There are they; these are at no cost to our heroes. That's, That's great. great. Yeah. And you can find That's out awesome. more information about these service dogs at www.rangerservicedogs.org. And just behind them, we've got the sons and daughters of the American Revolution, dressed to the nines. Yes, they're taking us back. This next float looks kind of trashy. Well, I'll tell you, it is, actually. <laughs> it's the Been There Dump That, a memorial bin dumpster for the Marines and sailors of the 3rd Marines 25th Division, 4th Battalion, that were KIA during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2005. A total of 46 Marines and two sailors were killed in action. The memorial bin lists a brief history of the 325th deployment and names and dates of all killed in action. That's great. Yeah. And next up, the American Legion Post 145. It's located on West Bankhead Highway in Douglasville. 
Since its charter in 1935, the Frank Dorse Post has been welcoming veterans from all branches of the armed forces. The post enables veterans to continue serving your God, country, and community. And right after them, we've got another American vet, uh, Post 118. Yeah. Yes, they're here. They do a lot in the community. Yes, they do. American Legion does as well. Yes. Our next section is for active military and reserves. We've got the Lithia Springs Marine Corps JROTC. Another great JROTC group. All righty. I'm digging those jackets. I know. I like that. Kind of got an inspector gadget kind of yeah. going on. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you won't miss them. And next, we've got some of our citizens. We always invite our citizens to be par a part of the parade, and they are greeting the crowd with our citizens' banner, saluting our veterans. All righty, and this is always one of my favorite groups, the Girl Scouts, Twin Pack. Um, they are in the parade. I bet they didn't bring any cookies again this year, oh, TJ. Uh, again. <sighs> we'll ask them. And then directly behind them, behind them is the Cub Scout Pack 1990 out of St. Teresa's Catholic Church. They're proud to support our veterans and service members by walking in this parade. We always have a lot of Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts. Yes, it's so great. great to see so many of our kids involved. Yes. Check out that red, white, and blue beach ball. Wow, now that would be fun to That's pretty toss awesome. around. Right behind them, the Mother Teresa Assembly Knights of Columbus. Since the turn of the century, members of the fourth degree of the Knights of Columbus, the patriotic degree, have combined their Catholic heritage with their love of country and have participated in and sponsored a variety of patriotic programs and activities. Wow. Always involved. I know, and I love those, the, what they have on. It's got that a looks mohawk. great. That's yes. Awesome. <laughs> got swords man yeah they get to play with all the cool stuff I know all righty and we have one of our another one of our great marching bands here in Douglas County um, we have the New Manchester High School Red Coats Band. They have earned first place band ratings in class and numerous first place category rates in band competitions. The Marching Red Coats began the education of bands by bringing high energy and very memorable performances to audiences in the county, state, and nationwide. subtle back and forth motion. Yes, very coordinated. Uh, uh. Yeah. We got some good bands in this county. Yes, we're very entertaining. Let's 
definitely my favorite part, the drums. Yes, yes. Resource Center, along with New Jerusalem Wolverine Pathfinder Club and New Jerusalem Flying Angels Adventures Club, put love in action by helping, connecting, and serving. And we're so glad to have them here with us tonight. Yes, yes, they do a lot of great things for our community, and great to see them in the Veterans Parade saluting our veterans. All righty. And next we have the Georgia Military Vehicle Preservation Association. You're driving a great vehicle. You recognize that? That was the theme from MASH. Oh, wow. You that know Jeep what? Jeep reminded me of MASH. I used to love watching MASH yep. with my grandma, one of our favorite programs. So good. Looks oh. like we've got some more Boy Scouts. Yes, it's actually Boy Scout Troop 228, and they were chartered by the First Methodist Church of Douglasville and has participated in the Veterans Day Parade every year for as long as anyone can remember. Yeah. Our Scoutmaster, Larry Cochran, is a veteran himself. So salute to Larry Cochran and all of our veterans and our Boy Scout Troop 228. We've got Clea with Sid Kelly, always helping out with the, with the parade. And then finally... We've got these beautiful horse, horses. We got Sergeant Major Curtis Harris, U.S. Marine Corps retired, and the horseback crew. We're so glad that they could come out because you can't end a parade without no, the horses. No, you gotta have the horses. The of horses course, are. Of course, technically, you should also end the parade with a street sweeper. Well, yes, and apparently <laughs> the city of Douglasville is on the job. Yes, <laughs> yes. thank you so much. <laughs> Great that, job. That concludes our 16th annual Lighted Veterans wow. Day Parade. It was just as good as any others, probably better. I think we get so. better and better every year. Every year. We got great weather. And yeah. one thing I did want to say is I want to thank all of the volunteers who yes. have come out to help us. It takes tons of people to put this on. We've got people back at the uh, the lineup, yes. you know, getting people in order. <clears throat> you don't see the person who's helping us right in front of us. She's sitting on the ground. <laughs> she hands us these cards. Couldn't do and, it without uh, her. We've got uh, Tiffany here who, yes. who volunteers, so I definitely want to thank oh, her. Thank you. It's a, it's a great night for our veterans and a great night for Douglas County, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this but you weren't here, I want to invite you to come next year. It's yes. every November 11th, 7 p.m. downtown Douglasville. So we will see you here next year.